Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. If you like design and using 3D printing to solve real world problems and not just printing trinkets, this channel's for you. So what I have on the bench this week is a jewelry box that I made for my wife some time ago. And the box itself is just a, a wooden box uh, and it has uh, some depth to the lid where we have a piece of glass here, some dried flowers, and then the underside of the lid. And inside the box, I had just gotten like peel and stick felt and felt lined the whole inside of the box. And she loved it uh, and did use it for her jewelry, but there was no way to organize it. It was always just a big mess of you know rings and things inside the, the box. So a bit ago, I went ahead and I designed some trays that fit inside here in the felt part of the box. And I was hesitant to do this with 3D printing at first because I didn't want like a cheap plasticky look to it. I wanted something that had, um, I, I guess, fit with more of the style of the, the, the box itself. Um, and I started working with Prusa's Galaxy Black Filament and I thought, let me give that a try. And I'm really happy with how this came out. I don't know if the finish comes across on video um, as well as in person, but the Galaxy Black Filament has a flat appearance to it and the spec in it makes it, between the flat appearance and, the, and the, the spec that's in it, it makes it really hard to see the layer lines. Even where you have like transitions here where you know the, the, uh, the transition of the layer is usually quite visible, uh, it just comes out so nice. Um, so now you can see she's got space in here for you know, her earrings and rings and, and uh, necklaces and bracelets and such. And uh, I designed these to be, the, the one in the bottom is a very, very tight fit with the felt. It's kind of pressed in place and then that's it. It's meant to not move around at all. This one I designed to be a loose fit, but it does contact the felt on both sides. So it doesn't, like if I move this box, you can see the guy's not moving on its own, but you can easily slide it back and forth to select which side of the box you want to access at the bottom. So let's go take a look at the design for this and talk about the, some of the features like these rounded bottoms here for picking items up. Okay, so here's the design for this, but before I talk about the design, I did want to share some information about that filament, the, uh, the Prusa Galaxy Black. Um, I will put links in the description to the filament both on Amazon and from Prusa's website. But this is an example of where I would strongly recommend buying directly from the source. Uh, it is significantly cheaper to buy it from uh, Prusa's website than it is to buy this from Amazon. So only buy it from Amazon if you're in a big hurry. It's like half the price on Prusa's website. Uh, particularly if you're getting more than one roll, so you're paying just the one shipping fee. So, all right, back into the design. Um, you can see I've got two different options here. Uh, the option at the top has rounded bottoms and all of the smaller pockets designed for rings, and the option at the bottom has all square bottoms. I actually went with a hybrid uh, between these two for the jewelry box I designed for my wife, ultimately. Um, the bottom one has just the flat corner bottoms uh, to maximize capacity as these things aren't frequently used. Um, and the sliding tray at the top has the rounded edges so that you can easily uh, just grab a ring with your forefinger. Uh, it kind of slides right up the side and then you can grasp it with your thumb and forefinger together uh, just to make it really easy to grab out of the box. That's the type of thing you've got to take into consideration when you're designing parts like this is the actual usability of them. Uh, not just the aesthetic or the, the fit and finish. Um, I think that's really about it for the design characteristics on this. Uh, as you can see, I've got some larger trays designed for larger pieces of jewelry, and then the smaller pockets are for, for rings. There's really three different sizes. There's the, the small ring pocket, the very large pocket that occupies half of the entire side of the box on the bottom, and then these two longer ones that are a hybrid of the two. Uh, the, the corners of all of this is rounded so that it's easy to both press into the box in the case of the larger one uh, as well as the top one just so that it is easy to slide it back and forth. Um, the SDLs for everything I showed you today and all of my other projects are available on my site fpfdesigns.com that is linked right down in the description of this video uh, and if you learned something today uh, please hit the like button it really helps out the channel um, helps, helps it get to other people and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I put out a new video like this every single Friday, features a design and a 3D print that solves a problem or makes something that I have better. Uh, as always, guys, I'll see you next Friday. Mm -hmm.